Hey guys, how's it going? Skagoni here, and as you guys can see, today we are reacting to uh, Glitch Tales Season 2, Episode 2, Dust, by Camila. Now, I do not own anything Camila-wise, or Glitch Tale-wise, and I will be sure to link Camila's channel, as well as the episode in the description below, and you guys are able to check that out if you wish. And with that being said, let us begin. I, after Asgore admitted to killing several human children, he was taken away for further questioning and possible criminal charges. And of course, we know it wasn't Asgore, the one who broke the barrier, and that Asriel and that it, uh, that Asriel and Kara. What? Hold on, wait. Of course, we know it wasn't Asgore, the one who broke the barrier was the one who broke the barrier. That it was Asriel and Kara. Asgore wouldn't put Asriel at risk by telling the truth about that, about that, but he was honest about what he did with the children. Even if that made things more tense between humans and monsters. Yep. Dr. Caster? <laughs> Dr. Caster! <laughs> Come back here! Oh, hey, Betty. I thought you were going to leave. Actually, Frisk, her mom came last night and said if it was okay for her to stay here for a couple of days. They're moving somewhere else, apparently. So she'll stay until the things of her room are moved, right? Correct. Have you found anything about her soul? I have been reading the whole night, and not even a clue. However, there is an interesting story about a pair of wizards that created the barrier. Hmm. I'll read that le later on. Frisk. Frisk. Be careful. Whenever you go out, specific, uh, especially if one of us is with you. Huh? What do you mean? I've always noticed the AMD cameras around the city, but they don't move much. However, lately they've been more active than ever, as if they were looking for something. I'm not telling you you don't have to go out, of course. I know you have to attend. I know you have to attend to Metaston's first live report today. He would be- he would get really angry if you didn't go. Or if you don't go. Yeah. Talking about that. Huh? May I go with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, Gaster. Huh? Who's coming? Hmm? Well, since you already met Sans and Asriel, the oh. great detective Papyrus, you'll get to know someone. That is very great. Greetings! Greetings, little human! <laughs> Wowie. Wowie! I like your hair! We all here already? Oh, the bracelet! Oh! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> oh, that was Frisk saying, there he is. May I say hi to him? Sure, I'll stay here. Where do we sit? <laughs> I didn't body, bought any chairs. Sans, don't. Huh? 
Eh? Wait, isn't that... Ah, hang in there! I'll get you down! It's a setup. Oh no, it's 100% a setup. Stock one, nullifies all magic ability from a mon abilities from a monster. Extremely painful for the target. It may crack their so it may crack the soul of the user. It links the to the user's soul and uses it as a as a power source. Do not use it under any circumstances. Not approved by the HSO. Research canceled. But it looked like that's what she has. Ah. She's really excited. Hmm. That reminds me. Hmm. How did you meet her? Well, I was on my way to the AMD and... Hmm. Is it a vision? Is it a thought? Is it not really there? You're about to put a, you're, you're right about this ceiling. What now? No, 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 no! <laughs> Wait! I thought the construction I thought the construction was finished, so why is the crane moving? Wait, where's Papyrus? Sans! Got it. Everyone, get out of there! Unfortunately, this isn't strong enough to kill him, but it'll stop him. Sans? <laughs> it worked? No! Papyrus, are you okay? Sir. Prince Streamer, please move aside. <clears throat> He's under arrest. No! Ah! This is bad! Ugh. Hey, kid. Yeah, you broke it. Frisk. Frisk. Hmm? Got any ideas how to sort this out? Um, I'll hear everyone else's ideas first. Hmm. Papyrus said he was at the crane because he saw a little girl asking for help. After doing what she said, he felt dizzy and passed out. There's a shadow in the background! Now, Sans got attacked by something, and it nullified all of his powers. Uh. Are you feeling by- how are you feeling, by the way? Hmm. <laughs> It's coming back slowly. By tomorrow, I should be fine. <laughs> I'm glad. Hmm. Now, I have this idea. Mm. I know Papyrus would never do something like that, so... Maybe if we get access to the AMD cameras, we could find something we haven't seen. Hmm. That sounds nice. You and I could go do that, mm. and Frisk can go on with their idea. So, what was it? Oh, yeah, I was... Uh... My idea... I wanted to... Oh, what if I can find a way to reset? If we would prevent all this mess. What? What? If I can start over, things would be better. Maybe the timeline is not glitched enough to get erased with a Stop. reset if I... Stop. Right. right there. There. So. So, aside from being selfish, looks like humans also have a really, really poor memory. Uh, Sans. No. No, seriously. That's the best you came up with? <sighs> a 
a difficult situation shows up and all you can think of it is think is think of is to reset I, I mean let's say that uh, that in your attempt to reset you don't all die and uh, you actually mm -hmm. go back what will happen to Azriel or Gaster you know that what ha uh, you know that what happened won't ever repeat again it can find a way to bring them all back again somehow. If you don't get bored by that, by then, that is. No! I'm not doing that! Just how you promised me you wouldn't reset. Mm. I just... Mm. That's cruel, you know? Making me believe I finally had had a future to look forward to. All that I'm sorry talk. Sans, please understand. I... Since you like breaking promises... You wouldn't mind if I broke mine, right? Sans, that's enough! Don't reset. You should have let Kara kill me. That would have hurt less than this. Sans. Asriel? You coming, Asriel? I think I have enough power to teleport us inside the building. Yeah. Let's go. That's bad. Hmm? hmm? The tale of the twin siblings again? Hmm. Perhaps... I'll be able to finish it this time. This language is easier to understand after all I've learned these past few days. Two siblings, both powerful wizards responsible for creating the barrier, had agreed on all during their shared ruling of the kingdom. However, their options on monster kind differed. Are there- wait, was that opinions? Their opinions on monster kind differed. Their soul of determination wanted to destroy the barrier, while bravery thought it was a good measure to keep the peace. Confident, bravery challenged her brother. If she, if he could prove to her to be more powerful than she, he could destroy the barrier. Bravery's power was greater, but the battle continued. But as the battle continued, she felt an incredible strength within her sibling. His determination had no limits, leading him to victory. Bravery felt humiliated. As a consequence of this, she lost her trait, and with it, her magic. There is the trait stuff that someone mentioned. She exiled herself, searching for a trait greater than determination. And alas, she found it. The pink soul! Huh. Oh, look, we actually ended up in the right place. Hmm. It'll be a while until I can teleport us out, so let's check on those recordings. Hmm? What are we looking for, exactly? I have a feeling that the AMD had something to do with this whole mess. Whatever they did, it's all recorded, and they're probably trying to hide it somewhere. How funny. This room doesn't have cameras. Hmm. Sans, look. Hmm? This folder has weird recordings from different places. Hmm? Huh? What? To change the very essence of your soul. A dangerous and forbidden spell. However, she cared not for the laws of magic. 
she returned to once more challenge her brother. During their final confrontation, someone's power overcame determination. This time, instead of growing stronger, determination lost more and more power as the battle progressed. Wait, so does this all absorb the different traits? The kingdom fell into ruin from the destruction of the battle. She came out victorious. But her soul could never adapt to the sudden change. Meaning? Why would Friss summon their shield in the middle of the street? <gasps> Betty? No! Wait! 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 Does Betty have the ability to create, like, hallucinations? Wasn't she sleeping at his lab when the reunion was happening? This is bad! <laughs> Knowing her time was running short, she sacrificed her own soul to create the most powerful and destructive being imaginable. A creature whose sole purpose is to ensure that humans and monsters would never live in peace. Oh, it was all her. Asriel. Asriel, we should have we should have warned we should have to warn the other others. <gasps> Words. The pink trait is Bete Noir, the soul of fear. I wish to be the one to reveal the big surprise. Oh well, not like it matters. I already obtained all the information I needed. Let's go. <laughs> Sans! Not again, god. Why? Why? Your soul is really special, Azriel. Mind if I take it? Akimu is hungry. Of course you would mind. Stay away. No. No, 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 no. Not now. Azriel, move. He can't hear you. Oh, no. This was not the threat I thought it was. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. No, 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 Here, Kumu. Enjoy. Don't you dare. I'll... I... Azriel. Enjoy the future for me. No! What?! This can't be... You can't be for real. This can't be... This can't, this can't be serious, you're not... What? He was my friend! Asriel. Asriel. We have to warn the others. It's all right, Kumu. We'll get him later. Ah! This was not the threat that I thought it was. But since I didn't get him, I will need to. I will need the hate. I will need that hate substance, Jessica. I said I'd keep it. I think you misunderstood. I wasn't asking. This is messed up. <laughs> this is messed up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh. That's not. That's not okay. That was. I. That, that's that is fear. That is fear incarnate. What the hell? That was well done. Oh, Sans. What? That can't be. That. This isn't real, right? That I'm still trying to grasp that. And it looked like Azriel was able to tap into his his soul trait. Or no, his soul power rather, and gain a portion of his final form's power. <sighs> I'm not happy. That was that ending, hold on, this part, right here, where was it, that, oh, that's terrifying, not only did Betty show the form of Miss Gray's child, but the version of the version that looks like it has that, that it has been like risen from the dead. That's messed up. That's actually messed up. Oh, Camila, you brilliant. <laughs> That's. I don't like the way the story is progressing, but I do because it means we actually have an enemy. And it wasn't who I thought it was. I thought it was going to be AMD, like the entirety of AMD, but in actuality, it's Betty. Betty and Kumu. There's... That's not alright. Uh, was Betty playing us all along? Because Betty genuinely looked like she was having a good time back here. Because when she saw it, um, hold on, when she saw Metaton, where was that? Uh, here, when she saw Metaton, she actually looked like she was having a good time. Hmm. Where was it? Hmm. Okay, it was back here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Betty looked like she was having a good time. Was that all an act? And was Betty... Just... This? Oh man, there's so much thought- there, There's so much I have to process. So Betty's soul trait is fear. And was the most powerful and destructive being imaginable? Like, they, uh, of course. Um, the pink trait, the soul of fear. And the name of it, what was it? It was around here, I think? Yes. The pink trait. A Betty Noir. That's Betty's name. <gasps> oh no! I just realized! Back here! Hmm? No, um...
Hold on. There! Betty must have used... Oh my god, Betty must have used, um... Uh, Betty must have used her, uh, her soul trait of fear to create a hallucination of, like, of her, of, like, a, a, a mother figure. Uh, that's why back here, that didn't make any sense back here. Um. Alright. Uh. Got it. This, right here. That's why that, that's why she looks so familiar and it didn't make sense was because... She wasn't actually real. She was a fabricated image to uh, convince uh, a fabricated image to convince uh, a Gaster of her staying there. When in actuality, it was all just. Oh, it was all just a. Mm. But why? Why was that a thing? Why did she have to do that? Was it to get closer to Frisk? Was it to get, or was it to get closer to Frisk, who, uh, in order to get closer to the monsters in in its entirety, because um, Frisk was the one who gathered all the monsters together, so Frisk knows them better than anyone else. Oh man, there's so much I have to unpack. I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait for the next episode. Oh, but this scene here. Where was it? I was confused as to why, you know, they showed this. I thought it was just, um, I thought it was like, uh, it had something to do with, where was it? Back here. I thought it had something to do with, like, the, um, the little particle effects coming off. I thought that it had to do something with that. But then I remembered the car's impact. Like uh, I only, I only uh, remembered it after this point here, uh, when they said why would, why would, uh, why uh, eh. when Asriel said why would Frisk summon their shield in the middle of the street, and then I hit, and then it hit me. The car was actually like you know when Frisk put up the shield. That's when it hit. Frisk didn't kill anyone. Frisk just eliminated um, the vision. Which makes me wonder, what if Frisk didn't react in time? What would happen then? Would Frisk see that it was like, a, you know, like a, a hallucination or something like that? Oh, man. Uh, again, I have so much to unpack. I, I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this. I'm, in, I'm 28 minutes in. All right, anyway. Thank you guys so much for coming out to watch the video. If you guys want, you can check out my Twitch, uh, which I'll put in the description below. And uh, I'll be streaming from, normally I, I'm going to be streaming from 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, or, you know, I could just extend it whenever I want. Uh, sometimes my uh, schedule is flexible, sometimes it's not. Um, oh, man. Uh, if you guys want me to do gameplay videos, as well as reaction videos, say so in the comments below, suggest a game, and I'll be sure to do my best to see what I can do. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for coming out to watch the video. You all have a fantastical day or night, whichever it is for you guys, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm doing this quickly because I'm running, I like, I, I this is going on for far too long. Anyway.